Hey everybody, this is Perch, and uh, minutes after, this is what happens when you post news. Um, I posted the news earlier today that Venom has a new creative team of Al Ewing, Ram V, along with Brian Hitch, and uh, they're going to be kicking off with a brand new Venom in uh, in November. So we're also, I, I speculate, you know, where does Donny Cates go? And as I mentioned in the other video, the odds-on favorite, what people were saying, and, and the rumors were certainly that he was going to make his way to Hulk. Uh, Donny Cates had had a lot of uh, fondness for the Hulk in the past, and uh, and so that is what has been delivered. So the the they've also announced the Donny Cates, and in somewhat of a surprise, uh, I think there was at least some belief that uh, Ryan Stegman was going to stay with Cates, but uh, I, I have a feeling Marvel's going to be shifting Stegman into the uh, the event kind of world of uh, doing kind of occasional issues and events, but uh, which, which I hate, by the way, <laughs> I, just, I hate it so much. Let, uh, let, let these great artists be regular artists, please. Uh, but no, uh, Ryan Otley, who has been kind of MIA for a few months from Spider-Man. He, he launched uh, Spider-Man in, uh, with Nick Spencer uh, to get that, uh, that title up and going. So he's he since has left it, and now he is coming on to a brand new Incredible Hulk number one. So the comic is relaunching after uh, Al Ewing's uh, the Immortal Hulk series wraps up, which is happening in just a, a few months here in issue number fifty. So uh, they're saying the the new Hulk series launches this fall. Um, I don't believe we have an exact uh, understanding of when fall is, but it seems to be October or November. Uh, again, Penguin Random House, you know, the relationship begins in October. Marvel is slating a lot of these relaunches and big titles for, for that time. And so this fits right in with uh, kind of that timing and that strategy. So they are, uh, you know, the, the, this is, from what we can tell from the cover, it's purely called Hulk. So not the Immortal Hulk or the Incredible Hulk or, you know, here's the Hulk. That'd be a great, actually, Hulk title. Here's the Hulk. Uh, anyway, uh, Donny Cates, Ryan Otley, Frank Martin in this issue. Now, the premise for what we hear in this is that uh, the uh, Bruce Banner is discovering a radical way to control his Hulk persona. So uh, how this all ties into kind of the, the world building, the green door, all the stuff that Al Ewing has been doing. Uh, with that title, it feels like this is uh, moving away from that to some extent. Um, certainly, I think with with maybe the art style and some of the other things, we get some pictures of uh, the Hulk uh, just smashing his fist repeatedly against a wall and kind of green blood going everywhere. So Donny Cates is hyping it up by saying, uh, oh boy, you guys are not ready for this. You're about to find out what happens when Ryan Otley and I get angry. And guess what? Pretty sure you're going to like us a lot when we're angry. Um, as I mentioned before, Donny Cates has been pushing uh, the Hulk for quite a while. He has a lot of love for that character. He definitely fits in with his kind of, he's working his way through the Marvel Universe. At this point, Donny Cates will be on Thor and be on Hulk. I still believe that we're, I don't know, we're, we're leading up to a Donny Cates Avengers. Um, he said in the past he, he hasn't been as fond of team books. He likes these uh, solo books and he certainly does a good job with them. If you're Marvel and you're hearing that, uh, probably a good idea is to, uh, you know, to keep Keep Donny Cates there, uh, but uh, you know, don't 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 spoil it by throwing him on a solo book if if he's saying he doesn't particularly want to do that. But uh, at any rate, uh, Donny Cates, Thor, and Hulk uh, are kind of two of the big cornerstones of the Marvel universe. So it, it continues to cement Donny Cates uh, in the Marvel universe as one of their key writers right now. And uh, this is basically an Al Ewing Donny Cates swap. So that's that's what we get. Venom heading off seemingly into space. The Hulk uh, having to figure out new ways to control his rage. So that's that's the news for today. So kind of some bonus news here of these two titles. It's nice when they uh, they they do it both on the same day. We do get free comic book day August eighteenth, and one of the stories there is Avengers Hulk number one, where we're expected to see a preview of uh, the uh, the Donny Cates Otley team and how that's all gonna gonna work. Uh, if, you know. Ryan Otley, which I haven't been talking about him nearly enough, when he did the super violent, uh, aggressive, bloody scenes in Invincible, uh, they were all, it was always a, a pretty big spectacle. They they were they would, it was a big deal. Um, they there were some just some Ultramite army kind of battles, jaws getting broken out, very very bloody, very violent. Um, people always would say, hey, Ryan Otley would be a, a natural mix for Spider-Man because of the, 
you know, kind of the physique of the character of Invincible. And he was good on Spider-Man, but uh, watching kind of big barbarians tear each other apart means uh, Ryan Otley on Hulk is, is interesting. So interested to see how that all goes. In the world of, of relaunches, um, if you're keeping track at home, we have a brand new uh, Black Panther by John Ridley. We have a new Venom now by Al Ewing, a new Hulk by Donny Cates. Um, the, it is expected that we'll hear in the next week or two a brand new uh, Miss Marvel comic, as well as some of the other, uh, I think we're getting a new Hawkeye book and we're getting a new She-Hulk book. We know we already had the new Moon Knight book announced. So there's a bunch of number ones and new series that are going to be launching here between uh, August and, uh, but more in the October, November, December timeframe. Uh, so, so a lot of, a lot of new things in play. Um, Marvel is definitely looking to just dominate the last quarter of the year, October to December. So one of the ways they do it. So there you go. Simple news. Uh, are you into a Donny Cates, Ryan Otley Hulk? Let me know in the comments below, like, and subscribe. And Hey, thanks for listening. Thank <laughs> you.